Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Lei. Today I decided to do a what's in my bag video. I've been seeing this quite a lot in the YouTube world and it's kind of interesting to see what other people carry in their bags. Backpack is my go-to bag. So recently I made a comparison video of Longchamp, Le Pliage and Calvin Klein Hudson backpack. There was also a snippet of what was in that my bag in that video. I'll just link it down below if you're interested to see that. So without further ado, let's get started. This is my um, basic makeup pouch or kit case. First is this um, Jo Malone cologne which is called Wild Sage and Sea Salt Scent. This is a gift from my sister one Christmas ago. It has very mild, sweet and just a lovely scent that I like to carry every day. Next is this product from Japan. It's a UV face powder with an SPF 4 plus factor. Um, instead of using sunscreen lotion, sometimes I put this powder in before heading out. This is nice because it's not sticky and it's translucent. The next are just uh, basic lip necessities. I like to put on a uh, lip balm, lip tint. And lipstick I don't use lipstick as much anymore because of the mask that we use every day so it's just there and this is an oil absorbent um, sheets that we use to kind of uh, get the oil from my face my t-zone area this is an it cosmetics a press powder uh, sample that I've forgotten all about this is just a spare key remote control that I keep in my bag at all times. And this is a, a keychain where I put my daughter's face when she was like an, a few hours old in a hospital where she was born in Texas. So this is a Swiss Tech EDC tool or everyday carry toolkit. This helps in an emergency situation like when you get uh, when your car got jammed and you got locked in there you can break the glass window or cut your seat belt to get out from it but I sure hope I never get to use this uh, just an extra battery for the car key remote there's so much stuff in my bag I know this when the weather changes drastically because I have a seasonal asthma but thank god I don't get to use that very often ibuprofen for headaches another one for tension headache oh you can never have enough of ibuprofen right and these are just alcohol pads you know to disinfect phones um, whatever and some hand wipes from the restaurants I took it from this is a uh, drama man my daughter and I have motion sickness and more pads oh band-aids you can never go wrong with um what is this allergy medicine yeah I remember and um oh there you are this is a Maybelline Baby Lips Cherry Me Moisturizer. I love that one. Xantac for hyper acidity attack. And tummy, oh sorry, Tom's in a Ziploc for my daughter. We have tummy issues. And the next one would be my wallet. This is the wallet I purchased online. It's a no brand wallet, but with an RFID feature, which is what I needed. I don't bring cash with me all the time. An RFID is supposed to protect your credit cards. This wallet holds all my cards, insurance, gift cards, expired gift cards, and some photos. And of course, my driver's license. And here's spare spoon and fork for when people are from the drive-thru forget to give you some. 
sometimes that happens just a basic antibacterial wipes that should always be available nowadays I got this one from Ross for three dollars same goes with antibacterial spray or hand sanitizer I love this scent um, sun wash citrus from Bath and Body Works you should try this one it smells so fresh and subtle so my hands tends to dry all the time after putting on that sanitizer so I keep hand cream in my bag all the time this one is from Bath and Body Works dry hand relief and the other one is gold bond healing cream and who doesn't need your grandma's silk folding hand fan? I know I do. Last but not least, this is a new touch tool, also an everyday carry. This is to avoid touching elevator buttons, surfaces, or door handles. When I'm out in public, it's very useful. So that's it, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting that notification bell for future uploads. So there you go, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time, bye for now.